How to Stream with Luppet on Twitch. My name is Anubis Lives. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. PST. Links for my Twitch and all my social media down below. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start on how to find Luppet. We're just gonna actually type in Luppet into Google. Boom. Click on its little link. We're gonna translate the page to English. And now almost everything is in English. So if you haven't seen what Luppet is or have tried it in the past, I would suggest that you totally do the free trial. The free trial is actually right here. Boom. As you see, it's zero, so you don't have to pay anything for it. The only limitation it gives you really is there's a big trial in red on the screen itself, but it'll give you more than enough to test it, see if you like it, and then if you want to pay for it, all you got to do, click on the price. And all you really need is the personal license. So we're just going to click on that. Boom. You see it's 6000 It's around $50 USD or $75 Canadian. So very, very cheap program, in my opinion, to get you started in the tubing. So now that you've either downloaded the trial or purchased the program itself, really download the trial first, see if you like it. You just download the program anywhere onto your computer. The program itself is actually lightweight, so there's no installation of it. All you gotta do is just click on the program itself and it'll just open right up. That being said though, I would actually save the program somewhere safe on your computer and then just create a shortcut onto your desktop for it. Now, one really important thing I should tell you is that, well, they don't send you the key via email. You actually have to go into their website where you log into, look for the message section. They send you the activation key via chat window in their website. So, it's usually within 24 hours you get it, but if you don't see it, uh, just contact them after 24 hours and you'll be good. Okay. All right. So now that we have the program opened up, all we got to do is just, well, select our character. Now characters that you make have to be in the VRM format. You can't use a character straight from a game like VR chat, you have to convert it to VRM. So all you gotta do when you do have your character converted to VRM is just click on open file folder and then just paste the VRM into that little spot, close and reopen the program, and then your avatar will be there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on my avatar. We're gonna select the webcam Typically it's on select camera, but we're going to select the C920, which is the camera that's sitting directly in front of me. And then we're just going to start with this model. Now, one thing before we do go any further, there are expression keys. So neutral, joy, angry, sorrow, fun. These keys can be binded if you've got a gaming keyboard with extra programmable keys or a gaming mouse with programmable keys. Either one of those will work. Uh, you could do a combination of keys, but, you know, I would just hotkey it to a mouse or a keyboard that has some extra keys on it. But let's start with this model. Here we go. This is the default page that you see when you log in. So we've got different things here about green screen. We could take that away. We could add it. You can make it a blue screen. I would say keep it as a green screen because typically a lot of clothes we wear have a lot of blues in it. So definitely just stick with the green. We got the brightness tab where we could change different little things, bloom effects, so on and so forth. Lighting again. Webcam calibration. This is one that is actually very important. What I suggest you do is just look at the very center part of your monitor. Hit calibrate. Three, two, one. And it now makes it look like you're looking at the camera. So very, very handy. Something you should be doing. Leap motion. 
that is a little box that you can connect to Luppet and it'll give you hand gestures, so on and so forth. Mine's not in yet. Mine's actually coming in three days after this video's out. So I will be making another tutorial on how to connect Leap Motion to Luppet. But once it's there, it's going to be super amazing. You guys are going to see hang gestures, arms wailing around. It's going to be great. Character positioning. Pretty self-explanatory. Just follow the instructions. Lip syncing. This one, you got to make sure you actually select the correct. A lot of people don't actually select the correct, but you got to make sure you select the correct microphone. So sometimes people connect it to their webcam microphone by accident. Just make sure it's your proper microphone, okay? Other things here, like shoulder angles. See, just change it. Little, little effect there for you. You got horizontal correction for the leap motion, so pretty cool. And we got more features like snapshots, rotate cameras, flip, so on and so forth. Pretty easy stuff. Now, you're wondering, how do I get this full screen? Well, very easy. Hit the escape key. Boom. You're now full screen. Very, very simple. So, let's move on to connecting this to OBS. So connecting Luppet to OBS is actually really simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our new scene. We got one called Luppet Recording 2, which is perfectly okay. We're going to hit the little plus sign under sources. We're going to go to game capture. Now game capture allows us to specifically capture Luppet. It's what we want. So don't select anything else other than game capture. We're going to call it Luppet. Well, I'm going to call mine Luppet, Luppet 2 because I already got a Luppet. We're going to go to Capture Specific Window. Window. We're going to capture Luppet. And there I am. We're going to click OK. And now we're just going to make ourselves an appropriate size and move us to kind of like roughly where we want to be. Look at that. I'm so pretty. But wait, we got a green screen. How are we going to get rid of the green screen? Well, very simple. We're going to right click on our little Luppet 2. We're going to go down to filters. And we are going to click on the little plus sign. We're going to add a chroma key. Don't worry about changing the name of it. Just hit OK. Boom. Now the green screen that we had before is gone. And it's just the beautiful you. That's it. Very simple to add yourself as a V2 model onto OBS using Luppet. So if you found any of this useful, please hit the subscribe button and well, maybe leave a like. Also, please leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought about the tutorial and maybe leave a suggestion for future videos. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. PST. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.